Hello, welcome to this DCS A10C2 tutorial. In this video, I will cover basic control setup and special setup. So to begin, we'll go into our cogwheel for our options. Head over to controls, A10C2 reel, and we'll head over to access commands. Now I'll pull up this picture here. This will show a layout for the controls that I'm using, and I'll tell you what part of the controls I am binding things to, in addition to showing you the regular way from our previous videos. The A10 has a bunch of controls to use, and that's honestly the hardest part about using this um, airplane, is just getting your head around the controls and what does what. All right, so to begin with under access commands, we'll go to HOTAS slew vertical and HOTAS slew horizontal. I have these bound to a little analog stick right here on the front of my throttle. It's an axis. The next thing we'll want to bind is our pitch and our roll to our stick as we normally would. On your HOTAS slew, horizontal and vertical, go ahead and throw about a 40-41 curve on there. That'll help make it a bit easier to use. On your pitch and roll, you can use whatever you feel like. I personally like a curve of 15 on my pitch and my roll. Next, you can bind your rudder. I personally prefer a dead zone of three and a curve of 25 on my rudder. But once again, this is all your own preference. If it ever feels too mushy, you can decrease the curve. If it ever feels too snappy, you can increase the curve. All right, next you can bind your left and right throttles if you have a dual throttle uh, HOTAS. If you don't, you can just bind it to throttle both and then your wheel brakes. Make sure that when you test your wheel brake, when you're not pressing it, it's over on this right hand side. If it's showing on the left like that, you need to go into your axis tune and invert it. All right, after that, we can come out to the regular command section. And we'll start off with my stick. So you will have, if you have a dual stage trigger on your stick, you'll put the first stage to the first click and gun trigger to the second click. Um, if you don't have a dual stage trigger, you can go ahead and just find the, uh, the regular gun trigger and ignore first stage. First stage is utilized for a gun stabilization system, um, if, and if you don't have that, um, no worries there. The next thing we'll want to bind is weapon release, which I have on the front of my stick on a red weapon release button. After that, we are going to want to bind OTAS, DMS, in all four of these directions, aft, forward, left, right. And I have that on a castle hat switch right here in the center of my stick. The DMS is used quite a lot for different functions of your displays. Um, so whenever I say DMS or display management switch, this is what I'm referring to. The next thing will be your trim hat. I have all four of the trims and my reset on the trim hat here. After that, we will bind HOTAS, DMS, or TMS, aft, forward, left, and right. TMS is your target management switch also used quite a lot 
and I have this on a smaller hat switch right here. After those, we will want to bind the coolie switch. Up, down, left, and right. And I have my coolie switch. Oh, pressed a button there. Your coolie switch I have bound to this thumb hat on my stick right here. Your coolie switch is used for selecting your displays um, that you want active or cycling through pages of those displays. After that, on my stick, I have nose wheel steering button, which is on this button right here, kind of a ring finger pinky button. And that just about covers everything on the actual stick. Now we'll move over to the throttle quadrant. Starting on the throttle um, handle itself. I have a pinky switch out here on the outside of my throttle. And I have that bound to the HOTAS pinky switch at the center and forward. Moving in, I have a button here on the front and I have that set to my labels so I can click that button to toggle my labels to clear up clutter on the ground. Next I have the HOTAS left throttle button which I have bound to this button in the next one in and this is used for engaging your autopilot. After that, I have my CMS, HOTAS CMS, left, right, forward, and aft. And I have this bound to this hat switch right here on the throttle. This is used for your countermeasures. Countermeasure management switch CMS. Moving down. We have the HOTAS boat switch, aft, center, and forward. So I have that on this hat switch right here. I have the boat switch aft on the down position, boat switch forward on the up position, and boat switch center on the push position. So you'll see these numbers correspond with the numbers listed here in this picture. On the push forward and the pull back of that same hat, on the same hat, pushing forward and pulling back, I have China hat, aft, and forward. Moving down to this next uh, little momentary push button hat toggle that is used for the speed brake. So pulling it back in the momentary position, I have speed brake switch F and pushing it forward in the locked position is speed brake switch forward. I have a small button on the bottom of my throttle right here. And I have that bound to HOTAS master mode control button. Very important button. All right, that covers all of the basic throttle handle on the stick. Now I'm going to move over to these buttons that I have available on my actual throttle base. If you have buttons available, feel free to bind some of this. And if you don't, no worries. You can always just click everything that you need to in the cockpit. So first thing on this landing gear switch, this two position switch, I have my landing gear down and up.
on the three position switch for flaps, I have my flaps up center and down center. So the way this works is if I put this three position switch to the up position, it will move my flaps up. If I move it to the center position, it will center, put the flaps to the center position. And if I move it down, it will put it to the down position. So these two binds will toggle it between down and center and up and center whenever you engage or disengage that switch. Coming down from there, I have eject bound to a little red button right here. I have get new plane respawn bound to a little red button right here. On this master arm switch, three position switch, I have master arm armed and master switch safe. Arm in the forward position, safe in the middle. And then in the third down position, I actually have my rearming and refueling window. So I don't need to go through a radio menu to open it up on the ground. Moving over to this jettison button. I have that on my jettison weapons button. This is your emergency jettison that will get rid of everything on your plane. I have a knob right here that acts as a button. I have that bound to gain goggles down and gain goggles up. This is for your night vision goggles gain. On this next uh, knob I have that acts as a button. I have HSI course rotate left and right. Once again you don't need any of these. You can do it in the cockpit. I just have it to be convenient. And on this next one over, I have HSI heading rotate left and right. I have a three position switch here. And on that switch in the forward position, I have F1 cockpit view. And on the back position, down position, I have F10 theater map view. So I can cycle this switch to get into my cockpit or open my map without having to worry about my keyboard. And on this final switch over here, in the down position, I have toggle goggles to toggle my night vision goggles. That covers all of my keybinds for the A10C2. And now if we head over to the special section, let me hide this. You have an option for an aged or factory new cockpit. Um, your HMD render eye, only really relevant in VR. And a default gun mode. I prefer to have this on CCIP gun reticle. This will make it easier for you to start firing on your gun if you cycle to it in the middle of an attack run. If you have dice installed, you can go into there and mess with the programs to your liking, but honestly, I don't even use this for the A10. I let it use the default programs and just um, spam out countermeasures. They give you 250 of each, so I'm not really too concerned with being wasteful. It's such a slow moving aircraft that if I need to fire countermeasures, I'm just gonna dump as many as I need to to avoid the threat. Alrighty, that covers controls and special. Thanks for watching.